as more than half of Filipinos do not buy police's Nanlaban tales, another social weather station's SWS survey revealed that three out of five Filipinos believe that drug suspects who already surrendered to authorities still end up dead under the Duterte administration's campaign against illegal drugs. In its second quarter 2017 survey, SWS said that 63% of respondents agreed that Mamga suspects sa illegal na bentofin ng droga na sumuko na piro pinate pa there are suspects in the illegal drug trade who already surrendered, yet were still killed. Only 20% disagreed to this survey statement, while 17% were undecided about it. The SWS nationwide survey was conducted from June 23 to 26, involving 1,200 respondents, with a margin of error of plus or minus 3 percentage points. The proportion of those who agreed that some drug suspects who had already surrendered to the police still end up killed was highest in Metro Manila at 75%. This was followed by Mindanao and the rest of Luzon, both at 63%, and Visayas at 53%. The same survey showed that one in every five Filipinos, or 17%, know someone who was summoned under the government's Oplan talking, even if they were not drug pushers. The highest proportion of those who know someone falsely summoned under Oplan talking was in Metro Manila at 22%, followed by Visayas at 18%, and Mindanao and the rest of Luzon, both at 16%. The latest poll results came two days after a separate SWS data disclosed that 54% of Filipinos do not agree with police's claim that those killed under the Duterte administration's war on drugs fought back. Read, majority of Filipinos do not believe police's Nanlaban claim since the government launched its bloody campaign against illegal drugs last year, many instances of victims getting killed despite turning themselves into the police's Oplan talking have been reported. The police usually claimed that killed suspects returned to the illegal drug trade after yielding to authorities.